Many times when we're in physics, we have equations that are not necessarily conducive to just normal graph paper. A very good example of that is an exponential function. This is a function uh, that you'll see when you deal with RC circuits, for instance. This is, uh, for example, voltage, a graph of voltage, which starts at 10 volts and approaches zero. It has a RC time constant of five seconds, and it follows this very, very nice exponential decay. However, if we wanted to actually get this equation, this equation over on the side, we have to do some fitting for this. However, in physics and in other fields, we have found that there's a fun little trick using different graph paper that'll enable us to do this much easier. So what we can do is we can use this, uh, this graph paper called semi-log graph paper. And this is exactly the same data set, but plotted on this graph paper. And you'll notice now that we have this very straight line that goes down. And if we wanted to, we could take easily a slope, a y-intercept um, of, uh, of this line. The one thing that we changed, you'll notice that on the bottom, the time is still increments. Uh, we still go out to about 30 seconds in this graph. However, you'll notice that the voltage, instead of being linear, starts off at 0.01, goes up to 0.1, 1, and 10. And we do these increments of 10, increasing by a power of 10 for each interval that we go up. That works for an exponential decay. Uh, for an exponential growth, for instance, we can have the same, same exact uh, concept. Uh, equation of this line is 0.1 times e to the x divided by 5. So as we increase our x value, we go up the, uh, the curve. And again, over on our y-axis, we'll see that all of these values over here are just increments of 5. If we move forward, we'll see that using the semi-log paper, again, we have the 1, 10, 100, uh, down at the bottom we start at a 0.1, that again we get this nice straight line to come out. So semi-log paper enables us to take a graph that was exponential, either decaying or an in, uh, exponential growth, and convert it into something that visually looks like a, a linear uh, equation. And the graph paper that you'll see, uh, this is called semi-log graph paper because one of the two axes is uh, logarithmic. You'll notice down that on the bottom, the x-axis is a linear. So this is where we get this, the linear part of the semi-log paper. And down here, we start with 1, goes to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and eventually end at 10. And you'll see that the value between 1 and 2, this distance between 1 and 2, and the distance between 8 and 7 gets smaller as we go through, and they get progressively smaller. And if we actually look at two full cycles, we'll see that we start at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 10, and then we start again here renumbering at 20. So instead of starting up here going from 10 to 11, we go 10 to 20, 30, 40, all the way up, and this last one up here is 100. So semi-log paper still is the same style of graphing. You still take a number if you want to plot 3, value of 3, it's just go up to the third line and you plot it. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4, so this would be 4 comma 3, just like we normally have. However, we'll notice that our lines get incrementally smaller, and as we approach one uh, value, the value of 10, 100, 0.1, any of these multiples of 10, uh, we reset and start counting in a slightly new way.